What's going on guys? It's Teeterbilt here. Um, just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, brake setups. Since now that we've made it mandatory in our outlaw class to have a brake setup, uh, I just wanted to show you a few different options that there is for a pretty simple and cost-effective brake setup. A great mechanical setup that's out there is the kit from Bill Colosimo. It's uh, currently on one of Trevor's cars. It's a it's an outstanding mechanical setup. I mean, you hit this brake and car doesn't move. It's got flaps right here on the wheel. Let's see if you guys can see it. I'll show you some examples of it stopping too. And I'll also, um, I'm gonna put a video up here that Bill sent me that shit goes in depth on setting the car up with his brake system. And if you don't wanna build it yourself, feel free to reach out to Bill. Um, he'll make you a custom setup for your car. He actually, like I said, he made this setup for us. It works great. Um, Trevor loves it. It's pretty simple. But, uh, but yeah, give Bill a shout. I'll put his uh, email down in the description and also his uh, Facebook page so you can contact him. So this is going to be a quick uh, video on the brake system I built for the Lightning McQueen. So I have my pedal down here. On the back side here. We're gonna have your brake shaft that goes across these two collars here or to center the assembly there, keep it from shifting side to side. And this is just where it attaches together. We're gonna flip it up on its side, give you a view of the underside. You have your spring for the return, your brackets on the other side, your rod end with the adjustment. There's a little sleeve that'll go between the pedal and the um, rod end. Come back, you'll have a clamp here to just to support so the rod doesn't bow. Up in here, you'll have to cut out two spots to get some clearance where the rod goes over the hub there. Here's your rear rod end with uh, the little sleeve. And then uh, get this over so I can, you'll see up in here how that pad will come down on there. I try to keep that gap about the thickness of a paint stick. Now, who, different people, whatever they're running on their rear wheels, uh, foam or double foam, uh, you'll adjust your rod ends to get that correct uh, play there. Uh, one thing I've found that you don't want to go too far when you cut this slot here, right down here is you don't, cause that'll allow the pedal to come towards the child more. You want to keep that at a good spot. If you have to, and you want more travel there, then you can cut it out afterwards. The kit that I'm selling and making up, uh, I'll have a template for there and also for the rear here where to exactly drill these holes. Now another option for a brake setup here is another mechanical setup that we did. Uh, it doesn't stop the best. It definitely helps it slow down. But um, it's just... All it is is just a quarter inch aluminum rod with a spring on it. Good washer to use as a pedal. I'll show you underneath. We call this the ghetto brake. It's just a hinge with a piece of wood that has another piece of wood on it and then has some foam attached to the bottom of it. and it drags the ground and helps slow down. Now it doesn't stop on a dime, but like I said, it definitely helps slow down. And it's a uh, very, very simple to make. But um, 
Bill Bill's setup again. It, I mean that that setup with the pads on it. That's on the tires. I mean it stops instantly. But uh, this is very basic. Just a rod with a spring and a hinge. Then another awesome mechanical setup that's out there. He's actually doing some testing on it now. It's from our buddy Carnage. Um, also EJ Concepts. He does a bunch of 3D printing parts. But you can check him out. Um, I'm going to attach some clips and a video on here of his brake setup. And he's going to kind of talk about what he has going on. But if you're interested in a setup like this, this looks phenomenal. We haven't tested it yet, but uh, by his videos, it looks like it's going to work great. If you're interested in a setup like this, contact him at uh, Mr. Carnage on Instagram or EJ Concepts, and uh, he'll get you taken care of. Uh, this is an example of how fast uh, it can actually stop. So. Right now, it's not set all the way to the tightest, so we can adjust it. And now it'll stop even faster. We'll go even tighter. Now we're gonna go ahead and do a uh, test with the tires. Another good brake setup is this electric actuator setup. Uh, our good buddy Doug uses it, uses it on his daughter's car. And I know our buddy Brandon uses it on his son's car as well. Now it's a great setup. It actually lifts the back of the car off the ground. What I really like about that brake setup is if you were to ever have a mechanical failure and your pedal was to stick on or anything along the nature of the car doesn't want to stop with that type of brake setup, it lifts the back of the car off the ground. So the wheels are off the ground. Um, you know, it can't move, obviously. But again, that is electrical too. So you have the, the risk of not working for whatever reason but uh i don't think that's the case i think that you're not really going to have an issue with them you're just running 12 volt on it just test it before your run make sure it's working i know brandon's had great luck with his his son's car stops on a dime and um i know our buddy doug's daughter's car tegan it stops on a dime as well you just want to make sure you have the actuator set up mounted towards the back of the car you don't want it in the middle or it'll kind of make the car teeter totter. It's just a 12 volt linear actuator. You can get these off of Amazon, eBay. You're going to mount this, you know, in the back of the car. You're going to have to do some trimming, mount a bracket to it. I'll attach some pictures in a video that you'll see down here. And uh, yeah, it works great. You just, you can, you can wire them up so there's a, a button on the steering wheel that they can press to use the brake or um, I know some people wire them up to the pedal to where they actually when they let off the gas it activates the brake but uh, again it works great now I personally just like using the mechanical setup because it gets the kids used to using a real brake um, if you're going to go to the next step with this, I feel like have, teaching them um, how to use a mechanical brake is a great thing because, you know, they're going to have to use it in a dragster or a quarter midget or, or anything like that. But definitely teaching the kids how to use a brake is, uh, is a big thing that they should know how to do. Well, I just wanted to compile a few different brake setups. I know a bunch of people have been asking, so... Uh, if you're interested in any of these setups, reach out to um, Bill. You can reach out to Carnage for his setup. I know he's going to have a bunch of those for sale soon. Um, if you're interested in my little kind of ghetto brake setup, I can go a little bit more in depth with that. 
thanks for watching. I hope this helps, and we'll see you at our races soon. If you're interested in coming out and doing some power wheel racing, follow us on Facebook at Oxford Power Wheels Racing. Uh, we have a bunch of events on there. Our next indoor event is November 30th, uh, the Turkey Drags at the Fairgrounds. So stay tuned for our 2025 schedule, and see you all soon.